Good morning, it's a Thursday and I think the time is about half past nine doesn't matter, it's just gone nine anyway and uh, I'm about to put my shoes on and head to the local primary school to vote in the local elections I'm not sure what it is it's not like a normal it's not like a, a an election for a local MP or anything it's I don't know local something when I find out I'll put it here exactly what it is and after that I think I'll walk into town probably to the library and do a bit of research on on moving houses because and this is why I haven't done any piece to camera as they call it in the industry <laughs> is because uh, a couple of Saturdays back I had the offer accepted on the house and uh, in and then in the, between now and then I had to seek out solicitors to handle the conveyancing uh, I don't know if I mentioned that I had a property I saw a property that I had that I had an eye on that I put a price on ages ago well in between in the same hiatus I I lost that ha I lost that apartment so I had to look again and luckily I found another one uh, uh, strangely enough in the next road so I put a price offered anyway I put a price down on it and uh, it was accepted and of course then I had to get seek out another solicitor for the purchasing the other one was for the sale yeah so now at the moment the sale conveyancing is taking place it's all happening behind the scenes at the moment I think it kicked off yesterday or it will kick off today because the buyer's solicitor wants to know whether my documents that I had to sign for the for my solicitor had been delivered and they had so as we speak as we speak as I speak as we speak here yeah. as I speak the um, the two solicitors are freshening it out so I'm just waiting for the out outcome of that and once everything's okay um, we don't know, agree on a date then I can sort of wear into action, start packing things up, selling things and what have you. So that's why I've been quiet of late. So I hope these uh, drive driving videos, these travel vlogs or motor car vlogs or motor vlogs sort of fill the gaps as it were. So yeah, that's the plan today. And of course, uh, also at five o'clock today, the buyer and his daughter are coming around at five o'clock to, uh, I think he's going to make a mental note of uh, how to furnish it, I think he said. And also I've got some conservatory furniture, which I brought out of the garage back into the conservatory which you've seen in a few videos back um, the reason for that is because 
oh, I wanted to put them back in the conservatory, take some photographs, and then send them to the buyer via my estate agent, asking if he wants, you know, giving him a first refusal. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons why the daughter's coming today to check out the conservatory furniture if she wants to uh, purchase them or not. And if she doesn't, then that's fine, I'll just sell them. Right, so that's all. That's everything in a nutshell, bringing you up to date. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do now is turn off the classic FM on the TV, put my shoes on, and vote. It's nice to get out the house just for a few hours, and I've got to be active for about 60 minutes, according to my Samsung Health app. So just to please that it's uh, good to get out but right, hopefully I'll give you some news later Right, it's nearly one o'clock, so I went to the polling station and voted for, oh you saw it because I put it on the screen didn't I, and then I just had to walk to the high street and go to the library, I found three books, two of them were the same, <laughs> so two books, and just made notes in an old file of facts that I've got on what to do after the conveyancing. So I put down a couple of tips there which uh, has given me some ideas. And uh, then after that, I, I was going to pop into the solicitors. It was, um, it was 12 o'clock on the dot. I thought I'd go in and see if there's any mail for me. I know, I know it was cheeky, but you never know what's in their out basket with my name on it. So uh, I tried the front door and it was locked. And then I realized it was 12 o'clock and they they ticked their lunch between 12 and two. So without a, a second delay, I turned around and headed down Well Hall Road and into the well, whole pleasants and look really nice. All the you know the garden and the architecture. I didn't take any videos, did I? No. But there is a well, whole pleasants video somewhere in my archive. <laughs> and then after that, I walked uh, back home. Really. And I've got a letter here from the solicitors of the vendors, the estate agent who have put a property up for sale that I have agreed to purchase. So I'm about to read it now. Well, this letter is a couple of days old and most of it's been answered by telephone anyway. Uh, it's just to confirm my offer on their property and if it's acceptable and it complies with money laundering regulations 2017 they will request personal data from me. So that's basically clear. So nothing major. I'm still here. I'm about to take my coat off and freshen up. And 
You can have a cup of coffee and some biscuits. Uh, when I was having breakfast, I was watching a Discovering on Jack Palance, which was okay, interesting. <laughs> uh, next week it's on George C. Scott, so that should be uh, interesting too. But last week it was Montgomery Clift, Montgomery Clift, and that was, well, that was extra special. He was being one of my favourite actors and all. Right, so I'm going to get my cut off and make a nice cup of coffee. It's 20 to 7 and the prospective owner of, the, of this house and his daughter arrived at 5 o'clock and they, I think they stayed for about an hour, mostly I left them to it but they were in the kitchen measuring up so they spent most of the time talking about the kitchen from what I could hear and uh, yeah they were here for uh, about an hour so I've been watching something on YouTube while they were uh, doing their bit and I was watching something live a hit film we're doing a live broadcast you know Q&A questions and answers and uh, I was watching that and it's just finished so uh, I'm going around now closing all the doors and the windows and putting it back to the old state and that's about it really so when I came back from the High Street and Whale Hall Pleasance. I had a coffee and a sandwich and a crisp. And while I was devouring all that, I was watching a couple of episodes of Dr. Blake Mysteries which I'm enjoying because I, I did put it aside and now I mentioned it in a previous video that I started watching it again and it's good, so I, I do enjoy it uh, yeah so that's it um, I can't think what else there is later so I think that's it really. I think I'll uh, end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. There was one thing. I asked the buyer, well, his daughter, what she thought about the um, conservatory furniture. furniture. But she said uh, she hadn't had a chance to look at it properly this time. But they're going to pop round again next week. So they could be here frequently now by the sounds of it. Um, he did let slip something about the solicitors. I think he chased, their, he chased his solicitor and they said they, they can't do nothing without my solicitor. And so... Um, and then, of course, he chased my estate agent, uh, his estate, yeah, my estate agent. 
and I said I delivered the documents by hand yesterday I think it was well, I think it was the day before and uh, of course it all relayed back to him so it looks like his solicitors are on the case but I, I think the bottom line is don't expect an update you have to chase people not just once but continuously I know this anyway that's the little update on the uh, conservatory furniture Of course, it's kind of in my head what I was about to say. Oh yes, having all the windows open in in a sunny day on a sunny day like this means all the creepy crawlies fly into the house. I've seen one, one or two already, so I can just imagine what later is going to be like running around the front room swatting flies anyway there you have it